Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll go over how to use the solidify modifier. This modifier simply adds thickness to your mesh. Let's press Shift A and add a plane. Press Tab key and go to edit mode. Select the vertices and extrude them on the Z-axis. Let's go to Modifier menu and add Solidify Modifier. Increase the thickness value little bit. Let's press 3 key to go to right orthographic view. As you can see, key thickness isn't being added in evenly. That's because Solidify modifier works by extruding all vertices the same distance away from the original. When we enable the even thickness option, we can fix this problem. The offset value determines whether we place the solidified on the inside or outside of the original mesh. If we set to zero, the solidified output will be centered on the original mesh. Fill option here enables to fill the gap between the inner and outer edges. It is called as rim. If we enable the only rim option in simple mode, it won't extrude surfaces parallel to the original one, but instead will only add the perpendicular rim. If we enable it in complex mode, it will only leave the generated perpendicular rim. As you can see, there are two modes in Solidify Modifier. The simple mode simply extrudes the geometry. This algorithm doesn't work on geometry where edges have more than two connecting faces. Let's select this edge and extrude. As you can see, it doesn't work properly in the simple mode. Because this edge has three connecting faces. Let's switch to complex mode. There we go. It works properly in the complex mode. There are three thickness mode here. The fixed mode is similar to simple mode without even thickness. The new vertices are always in a fixed distance to the old ones. The even mode is similar to simple mode with even thickness. But may not always work when more than three faces come together. The constraints mode is a more advanced model to try to always get the optimal thickness everywhere. Let's press tab key to go back to object mode. Press Shift A and add a cube. Press Tab to back into edit mode. Select the top face of the cube and scale down little bit. Then, remove that face. Go to Modifier menu and add Solidify Modifier. Increase thickness value little bit. Switch to complex mode. There are three boundary options here. The none is default option. No boundary fix is applied. The round adjusts the boundary for an opening to face inwards. The flat adjusts the boundary to be a flat. Complex mode is able to solidify shapes like Mobius strips, Klein bottles, architectural wall layouts and many more which the simple mode isn't able to do. 
Let's try to solidify this Mobius strip using both modes. As you can see, it only works in the complex mode properly. Let's add a UV sphere and go to edit mode. Press 7 key to go to top view. Press C key and select some vertices using circle selection tool and delete them. Go back to object mode and add solidify modifier. Let's increase the thickness value little bit. Right click and make shade smooth. As you can see, sharp angles also is smoothed. To fix this problem, go to object data properties menu and enable the auto smooth. Now. Let's go to the Material Properties menu add three different materials. Switch to Material Preview mode. Go to Modifier menu and set the Material Offset to 1 and Rim Offset to 2. There we go. We have applied different materials to our solidified mesh. If we enable the flip normals, it inverts the face direction. High quality option here calculates normals to produce a more even thickness. Let's switch to complex mode and increase the merge trace hold value. It is kind of decimate effect. Let's add a cube and go to edit mode. Delete the top face of the cube. Add solidify modifier and increase the thickness little bit. Then, add subdivision surface modifier and set the level viewport to 3. Let's drop down edge data menu in solidify modifier. Set the crease inner value to 1. As you can see, it allows to maintain sharp edges although we add subdivision surface modifier. Let's delete the subsurface modifier and add bevel modifier. Switch the limit method to weight. Let's increase the bevel convex value to 1. This value determines edge bevel weight to be added to outside edges. Let's delete bevel modifier and solidify modifier. Then, let's edit our cube little bit.
Press Z key and go to wireframe mode from Pi menu. Press 1 key and go to front view. Let's add solidify modifier and increase thickness value. As you can see, bottom edges intersect each other. To fix this problem, drop down the thickness clamp and set clamp value to 2. There we go. Clamp option determines thickness of geometry based on the size of the geometry. In other words, shorter edges will have less thickness and longer edges will have more. If angle clamp is enabled, will be also considered angles, not only lengths. Let's select these vertices and go to object data properties menu. Assign these vertices to vertex group. Now, go back to modifier menu and select this vertex group we have just created. As you can see, only vertices in this group are solidified. Thickness factor is used to determine how much vertex group influence. We can invert the vertex group influence clicking on this button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.